Well, this weekend, thousands of Marines, veterans, and supporters will be taking part in the Marine Corps Marathon. The fundraising event expected to draw more than 100,000 spectators of Arlington and Washington, D.C. D.C. News Now's Liberty Simmons breaks down what you need to know before you, you go. Well, you can expect a lot of excitement, a lot of traffic and a lot of closures and you can see the equipment already set up here behind me as more than 30,000 Marines and runners take to the streets here for the Marine Corps Marathon and because of construction in the area, this year's runners are in for a special treat. I think changing up the route is a fantastic idea, especially for our group uh, who runs it every year, a change in route, it, it takes your mind off the pain. Marine Corps veteran Patrick Ford is running this year's 49th Marine Corps Marathon for the seventh year in a row. This year, the race will offer a new course with views of famous monuments such as the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial and the Thomas Jefferson Memorial. The Marine Corps Marathon was established back in 1976 and is one of the largest marathons in the world. Because it doesn't offer prize money, it is also known as the People's Marathon. More than 60 charities partner with the Marine Corps Marathon to raise funds for causes ranging from medical research to military support to education and more. Patrick is running the marathon to raise funds for the Travis Mannion Foundation. The foundation, as a result of those funds, is delivering a massive impact on, on families of the fallen and also uh, helping veterans transition successfully. D.C. police also warns drivers there will be several street closures and emergency no parking areas. All cars parked in these areas will be ticketed and towed. And WMATA also wants to urge runners and spectators to use the metro to get around. All lines of the metro will be open by 5 a.m. on Sunday for the marathon. For now in Arlington, Liberty Simmons, D.C. News Now.